Hey YouTubers, one more video. Today I'm gonna show you. Ah, all right. Took a little while to open it. This is the Skyline. This knife is actually for sale. It's on eBay right now. Uh, I call it the Bumblebee. <laughs> you can probably figure it out by yourself why. I uh, obviously most of my videos. Most of the videos I have uh, have this pattern on the on the scales on the handles for my knives. Actually, I think pretty much every video I have has this set of scales. This turned out really well. I've been trying to, you know, at the beginning when I started doing this, I was kind of like I was basically blind. I didn't know what I was doing, so I went ahead and. Uh, I kept grinding and grinding and I kept messing up and you know how it is with everything uh, practice makes a master this turned out really sweet it's flush it's it's ju it just fits almost like it's factory made but um this is actually one of my favorite knives of all times it's the skyline it's so lightweight it only has one liner in there not a lot of steel other than the liner, the pocket clip, the screws, and the actual blade. Um, it's really, really sweet. Now, one thing I wish it was, is, uh, or it had, is the actual blade. The blade in black would look even better, I think. But then again, a lot of these Kershaws that have black uh, blades, the black blades just wear out so quickly. It, com it, it just comes off so quickly if you're a user, of course. If you just uh, have your knives to look at them, that's one thing. Then your blade's never going to wear out. But if you're a user and you have a black, tung I believe it's tungsten coated blade, um, I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the, the black just wears out if you're working with it. Um, Anyway, this, this, I'm really amazed by uh, this piece right here. Love the yellow and black pattern, the bumblebee pattern. I'm gonna make this uh, video about Skyline only. So, there's another Skyline that I finished. Now this set of scales that I finished, this is black. I know I was saying that I got sick of black. Well, got sick of black, the regular black. This is a little different. You probably can't see it. Uh, on the video but there are fine red lines in this G10 it's black and red I'm not sure if it's even visible on the camera but they are definitely visible to the eye um, this is black and red G10 it turned out really well this is the Damascus version of the Skyline again my favorite knife of all times right here Especially the Damascus version. It just looks so nice. I wish I could get uh, more of these. I think they're discontinued or something because I can't find them anywhere. If anybody does have them, I would trade my work for a Damascus Skyline. So if you have one and you want to get some G10 scales, let me know. I'll trade my work for a Damascus Skyline or a Damascus Leak, or a Damascus Shallot, or any Damascus, uh, Damascus uh, Kershaw. Anyway, this set of scales is not done. I just put them on, check it out, see uh, what ed if the edges are sharp, and uh, I got some more work to do. But almost done. Another 20 minutes on this piece will be perfect. So we got the bumblebee and the black and red right here. And then I'm going to show you another, I went a little crazy with the, with the Skyline. I made myself some jade green see-through scales. These are just flat. They really, they look really, really cool. I think these would look good if I contoured them like that. But uh, we'll see. We'll try that another time. These are not really cool, actually. This is approximately what it would look like with them on the actual knife. And another set of scales, the tiger stripe scales for the Skyline. 
These turned out good too. Anything out of G10 looks good. Wouldn't you agree with me? <laughs> so that's it. This knife is for sale. It is on eBay right now. As uh, as I'm, you know, as you're watching the video. Now, if you actually contact me a year after this video was posted, this knife will be probably gone. So don't ask me. Uh, hey, uh, do you still have that knife that you uh, made a year and a half ago? No, I won't have that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please contact me. Feel free to contact me. Thank you very much. Have a good day.